This is a quick video to show you how to set up the Quark plugin in Logic Pro X so you can mix in Quadraphonic. Please listen to the instructional video for using Quark with Ableton Live or Reaper as well because there are a lot of valuable tips and information in there that are not included in this video. Also, if you haven't spent any time exploring the surround capabilities of Logic, I highly recommend diving into some documentation about that topic. I've used Edgar Rothermick's Logic Manual series extensively over the years and have found those to be clear and pretty comprehensive and well indexed. His chapter on surround is chapter 18 in his book Logic Pro X The Details. There's a link in the notes. I'm also assuming that your audio interface has at least four outputs to feed your speakers and that Logic is already set up to talk to them. Okay, here we go. We're starting with a new session in Logic 10.5.1. Okay, so open up your preferences, go to Advanced Tools, and check Surround. Next, go to the Audio Preferences, go to I.O. Assignments, and Show as Quadro. Then if you click on WG4, it will give you outputs 1, 2, 3, and 4 assigned to left, right, left, rear, and right, rear sequentially. All right, now let's go to Project Settings, Audio. and change the surround format to quadraphonic. Now we have one more detail, so click on Display Preferences, go to Mixer, and select Channel Order as DTS. This will make your master meter show you channels 1 through 4 sequentially from left to right. Okay, now let's go back to our audio track. Click on the mixer pane so you get the mixer window in the bottom and select show all. Now go to the audio track that's in your session and change the output format to surround. You'll see the panner has changed to a quad panner. Okay, now let's put the quark plugin in the session. So go to your master track and Add the plugin, audio units, dublab, quark, quad. There we go. And it's set to direct pass through four to four, which means we'll be listening to all four quad channels in our four quad speakers. Now mute the audio channel and add a test oscillator. This is so we can check and make sure that we're getting output in all our speakers. Pull the level down to minus 40, change it to pink noise. It's a little kinder than listening to a test tone. And go to the quad panner and pull the little dot into the center. The dot represents where your sound is going to come from. And now it's going to come equally from all four speakers. So when we unmute it, you'll see there's our pink noise showing up in all four channels. If you click on the speaker icons, you can mute individual speakers. And if you use a sound level meter and adjust the output of each speaker individually, you can get your quad system roughly balanced so that you're listening to an equal amount of sound from each speaker. Okay, we're set up and ready to mix some music in quad. All right, as you'll see, uh, I've added three tracks to the session, a drum loop, piano part, and a bass part. I've got the panning set so that the drums will show up in the back right, rear right. The piano will be spread across the left right channels in the front. And the bass part will be in the rear in the left speaker. Quark is now uh, set to encode and then decode all four channels, which means that you'll be hearing in the stereo field all four channels of your audio run through the encoder and then decode it again. 
Now, obviously, if you're listening in stereo, you're not going to hear the quad signal coming out of all four speakers. If you're listening in quad, you should be hearing all four speakers playing their individual parts. In order to bounce our mix out, we want to change quark to encode four channels to two channels, and then go to the bounce dialog in your master track. PCM is what we want. We want to make sure that surround bounce is not enabled because we only want to bounce two tracks carrying the encoded information. Give your test track a name and click on bounce. Okay, let's check it out. Go to import audio and import the sound file that you just made with your bounce. Make sure that your playback track is in surround format, as ours is, and solo that up. Change Quark to decode 2 to 4, so it will be decoding the information. And there you have it, playing back in four channels. Again, the audio in this video is uh, playing back stereo, so you're hearing all four tracks playing back in stereo, but... In your quad system, you should be hearing everything localized to the four speakers the way you had them laid out. As I said at the beginning of this video, it's really important to go back and listen to uh, the instructional videos for Ableton or Reaper um, because there's a lot of information about the way Quark functions and what the various Quark settings will allow you to listen to. Um, and some general information about how to set up your audio interface, which is also very useful. Okie doke. Thanks for watching.